What's up guys, it's your boy Easy Eddie, and today I'm bringing you another Minecraft tutorial slash how to and today's is about a simple pull back hidden door like the one I have in one of my past let's plays which you can find by going to my channel and going to my playlist in Minecraft hardcore series I think is what I have it called because I cannot think of a name so if you have any good name ideas comment them down below please and I might use them in my uh for the my let's play series and I'll give you a shout out for it too I'd really appreciate it but anyways this is what I use in my house and I'm making it on recommendation from my friend Shane he said he wanted to know how to do it so I'm showing him out so what I did is I'd made this hidden door where you come up to my barrel you take the one item out of it it pulls the, the doorway opens up a doorway and you go down with ladders to a hidden room so I'm gonna show you how to do that First, you're going to need at least one redstone comparator, some redstone, and a couple sticky pistons. And then you need a block that you can interact with, which can be a chest, a barrel, a cauldron. And we'll get into that in a second. But the point is, behind the block that you interact with, you need to have a redstone comparator on its level facing away. So it's like a triangle looking away. And then you have redstone connecting to the sticky pistons, which will be placed two blocks behind the blocks that you want to pull away. So when you activate it by putting an item in the barrel or chest or putting water in the cauldron, it'll push the sticky pistons forward, stick them onto that, and then all you have to do is take the item out and it pulls it away and there's your hidden door. So then after you're done up there, you come up, put the item back in, and it's closed and nobody's the wiser. So like I said, there's my multiple uh, objects you can use for this. So I used a barrel, but you could use a chest, a cauldron. I'd imagine you could probably use a furnace. You could definitely use a lever or a button, I'd assume. But I would just come to creative, play around with it, and see if you can use the block that you want to use. And just make sure you go test it out in creative first to make sure it works. And if you have any questions, don't be afraid to drop a comment down below as well. As uh, let me know if there's any other tutorials you'd like to see me make for you and uh, drop a like subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video